The question I wanted to ask about Lamar Jackson, who is a two-time league MVP. He is the youngest two-time NFL MVP since the merger. Since the time he took over, he has the second best regular season record of any quarterback in the league. The Ravens have had the best records in the league in two of his seasons as starter, and he's 27 years old. Is criticism of Lamar Jackson, which we know does exist, I was just surprised John addressed it so significantly, because when you address it like that, you are, you are lending it a lot of credibility. Is the criticism of him fair? Yes, it is entirely fair. When you're a player of Lamar Jackson's stature, a player who has won two MVPs at an historically young age, you have created a really high bar for yourself. That's your doing. The way that John Harbaugh is talking about Lamar Jackson is merely affirming that. He's 2-4 and four in the playoffs. His teams are 2-4 and four in the playoffs. They've averaged 16 points a game. He has played objectively badly in the playoffs on a number of occasions. Last season against Kansas City, Baltimore was the favorite. Baltimore was at home. Baltimore had no excuse not to win, no excuse to play as badly as they played. Lamar Jackson has not been Lamar Jackson in the playoffs. And when you're a player of that stature, that's a conversation that has to happen. I'm a big baseball fan, as you well know. Mm -hmm. Clayton Kershaw is this person in baseball. Clayton Kershaw, the best regular season pitcher maybe of the last 100 years, who consistently has struggled in the postseason. You have created this impossibly high bar for yourself because of your talent, because of your regular season success. And ultimately, it's only going to come down to whether or not Lamar Jackson can get over that playoff hump. Now, how old is Clayton Kershaw? Well, now he's in his 30s, but uh, when he won the championship in 2020, that was the big story, of course, in the bubble when, when he finally you know, won the World Series for the first time and did so despite having all sorts of issues in the playoffs historically. He's 36 years old now, but it took him his entire 20s to get over the hump, of course, and during that time, he was the best pitcher we had ever seen. And then he was a totally different human being in the playoffs. Honestly, that's the best comp for Lamar Jackson that I can possibly think of. I, I have a good one. Here's my comp for Lamar Jackson. Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning's first three playoff games of his career, he was 0-3. In one of those games, he completed 45% of his passes. In another, he completed 45% of his passes. And in the third, he completed 53% of his passes. In no, uh, none of those three games did he pass for more than 227 yards. In one of them, he threw for 137 yards, two interceptions, and zero touchdowns. That one made him 0-3 for his postseason career, and his team lost to the Jets in that game 41 to nothing. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't know that Lamar Jackson is going to wind up making us make comparisons to Peyton Manning. We're a long way from that. But what I am saying is that I think we do hold Lamar Jackson, we hold this against him a little more than we hold it against a lot of the other young quarterbacks in the NFL right now who haven't accomplished as much in the regular season and who also have not won championships. I, I, this came up last week, when the, the, the days that you were not here, and I'm sure you already know this, but if you don't already know it, you're going to love this. Do you know how many quarterbacks under the age of active quarterbacks under the age of 35 have won the Super Bowl? I'm thinking it's just Mahomes. It's just Mahomes. <laughs> He's the only one. The next youngest quarterback in the NFL to have won the Super Bowl is Russell Wilson. Wow, that's wild. And then it's Matthew Stafford, Aaron Rodgers, and Joe Flacco. So... All these young, I mean, Josh Allen hasn't won it. Joe Burrow hasn't won it. Lamar, ja um, Lamar Jackson hasn't won it. Jalen Hurts hasn't won it. Justin Herbert hasn't won it. Help me, who am I forgetting? Who are the other young quarterbacks? All of them. So <laughs> all of them. That's what I mean. Yet somehow I feel like they, we point at Lamar Jackson much more than we point tell you at why. the rest of them. It's a style of play. When you play differently and you don't achieve success, it's so easy to point fingers and say, it's not just because you've not played well enough, but it's because of how you play. If the Golden State Warriors had not won the championship in 2015 and it had taken them a while, we would point to them and say, look, you shoot too many threes. In Lamar Jackson's case, in the case of the Ravens, you have an offense largely built around the quarterback run. Legendarily, that has not been a tried and true strategy for winning the Super Bowl. So it's especially easy for us to point to not just his bad play in the playoffs, but his style of play just in general and say, look, you can't do it because it's never been done. Look, you can't do it because your game deteriorates in the playoffs when teams are actually playing their best and have a chance to game plan for you and you're playing the best defenses. 
It's a, di- it's a different animal playing the Ravens in the regular season. It's almost like preparing for the Naval Academy or the triple option or something of that nature. But in the playoffs, it's been proven now four different times. The style of play doesn't look like it works in the playoffs. Am I wrong? 